Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel. This beautiful day, we have a merchant now, a shopkeeper where I want to add some stuff. So I'm gonna say inst, int number of items equals a random of say how many could he have? He could have like a random of 20 items plus 10. So around 10 to oops, these are all the freaking videos. 10 20 to 10 or whatever so yeah that'll be fine that's a good good number to have um, and then we'll make a for loop that will go to this number of items and we're gonna do a little randomized thing so we'll have a in coin toss equals uh, zero mm. coin toss equals random between zero to a hundred uh, if coin toss is greater than 50 then we'll do this else if it's not We'll say plus one. So if it's hmm, so yeah, there we go. Well, we don't have to do a hundred actually. What we could do is we can make it a boolean false, and we can just do random one. So if it's greater than zero, so that's a little easier. And then number of items, and boom, boom, we'll add a weapon or an armor. And then we'll have a little thing called a merchant thingy. So as soon as I press buy, it's gonna say merchant inventory dot okay character. When I print my inventory, I basically go through all of these. Okay. So this is save. This is basically what I want. Uh, so I'll go into event. I'll say string inventory uh, merchant know this know this I basically just want to print it out just want to print it out uh, oh whoops whoops there we go merchant inventory so I'm just gonna print that out and I'm gonna say see out in okay there we go ambiguous how about you put that somewhere in your butt but here we go so when we're gonna sell we're gonna print out our inventory so then this is gonna be a little different we're gonna say character dot get in a string and here this returns a string, right? Okay, so see out get in with string. I'm pretty sure it takes care of the new line itself, but we'll make one in case. Just like we'll make one right here. And let's run this. Now I would like to see what the hell's going. What does this mean though? Why is this being such a crappy crap face? God damn it. Some wrong with STD, STD something. Cause here, it does work, right? No, it doesn't work anywhere. Okay, so that's working. What the hell? Are you serious? Uh, using namespace STD. Does that work? Okay, that fixed some stuff. What the hell's the problem? I 
Excuse me? Transfer of what? That is so weird. Choice shopping merchant inventory. Number of items. This is the while loop. In oh wait what oh it's already done right oh yeah oh wait you can't declare a variable in here so I forgot about that so let's just do um, let's do a string in up here where I have all my variables string in Let's try this out. Maybe, just maybe, it's gonna work. Something broke. Um, oh wait, it went above, right? So it should be. Oh wait, it. it rarity plus one multiplied by rarity plus one. Okay, that's kind of weird character event so as soon as I create something here from 0 to 5 uh, well, it shouldn't be a problem Shoot 4 well now okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm tired of that so I'm just gonna do this Whenever we generate an event, i equals equals two. And there we go. All right, there we go. No biggie. Okay, so as soon as I press one, there's an integer division by zero, and that's because this whole thing becomes zero. If the level was zero, rarity was two, level was zero. Okay. So in event, I'll leave that there. As we, what is this? Move, go away. So as we randomize the items, random get level. So we're gonna get the level plus random. What the hell? Let me just see what the values are here. Uh, travel and then let me just see in event okay, can you see oh I can't see why defense 27 level 0 rarity 1 okay 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 how do I do that in in the enemy encounter Mm. Character level. Okay. So let me just do that. Let me remove this. No character level thingy. Plus rand 5. I could do that. No need for this. No need for this. So plus, so just the character's level plus a random of five. So that's okay. That's basically what I wanted to do. I don't know why I did it any other way. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Travel. Now it worked. So if I want to buy something. I'll get a bunch of stuff here. I'll be like, hmm, oh, interesting. Something level 5. Okay, you want to buy this item? Yes, all right. And then I have to kind of print out the store's value on this as well. So how much it costs. And the way I'm going to do that is wherever I print it out. Where do I print it out? Right here. 
and then plus uh, plus merchant inv at position i dot get sell buy value right so this is the buy value to string uh, to string all this stuff bam and that's the buy value to sell I'm going to get the inventory as string uh, in character two string inventory i two strings so I should in inventory in the two string function I should actually Oh wait, no, it's in the item. It's an item thing. So the two string is for both the weapon and the okay, so I do I do print out buy and the sell value. So if I no, this is two string save, right? Get sell value. This is good, I guess. So if I wanna sell the travel and I wanna sell doesn't actually print out oh this why it doesn't there we go and then do that so if I just run this again and travel now it should work so I want to sell something so value is minus four obviously some wrong here uh, because how do I calculate value I don't I don't an item that's where I do it so an item, this buy value, multiply by rarity, and rarity is minus one right now. So I have to set this rarity first after this, and then we can calculate it. Now it might work. So this small issues sometimes that you get and you're like what the hell is going on? No, it's still minus minus four because this rarity is rarity. After I do that, so that should be something that's positive. Level is fine. Just buy value level times this rarity. Uh, okay, and here, buy value is buy value, rarity is rarity, rarity is minus one, okay, <clears throat> this shouldn't be, this shouldn't be a problem though, I don't understand why. But okay, we'll have to print stuff out. I'll print stuff out on the, uh, I mean, not on video, and I'll try to figure it out. Uh, if you can see it, I guess you can see it, but I can't right now, so we'll see what I'll do. But for now, still, that is fine. And if I print out the buy value, God, look, I hate that. Why does that happen? Come on, stop. Stop. There we go. So travel, I want to buy something, and then we'll see. Yeah, it says the buy value right there. Uh, so I'm going to print that out as well. To string get buy value. Plus, obviously, again, <coughs> buy price. Price, because that's important right here. Price. And I write that out again. Buy. So that would be the price right there. Uh, 60, price 60, price 0. Something shouldn't be free. Shouldn't be free. Uh, but alright, so we have the prices and we have the 
stuff. Angels balls. So we're good. But yeah, guys and girls, that's about it for now. We'll keep working on this until we can sell and buy items. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. It just takes a little while. And I'll, I'll figure out the problem for the, the price and all that stuff. But, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Keep learning. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.